Are you ready? Okay, welcome back to Fran Bo. This is part 12. Uh, I'm also gonna try to keep this one a little shorter, I hope. I have a tendency to get really lost in this game and just keep going forever and ever, which uh, I'm trying to avoid. So, yeah. The problem is, I don't really know what to do. Um, yeah. I uh, remember the tree. Yes, okay. So we need water on him. Sometimes things just don't work. That could work. I said that in the last episode. You could just technically just, you know, sploosh the bottle or something. So it just goes everywhere, probably. But, uh, apparently that's not okay. So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, the cad, the mechanical cad. And then we have the fire head up there. Maybe that's the tree. Maybe th maybe I need to fix the tree before I can go up there. Or I need, like I said in the last part, I need something else to uh, to contain the water, like a bottle or a jar. But we take it, we have a bottle. Maybe I need like a, a bowl or something more wide so you can throw it easy, easy more easily. Or maybe I need to connect it to a hose or something. But that's what be. S How do we connect the hose for like different dimensions and shit? What's this? I have no idea what this blue thing is, but it's here. Oh, <gasps> there's light bulbs! Oh, can I take him when it's lit or do I have to turn them off? Oh, the bulbs are very hot. That's what it. How did I not see that? I did not see that whatsoever. Are you fucking kidding me? I shouldn't lean back, my green screen gets all messed up with the darkness. Hello, I have to be nice and close with the camera. Not really intended, but sure, whatever. <coughs> Lost and found. Okay, what are we missing then? No, 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 that's not what I want to do. I want to examine this thing. We have everything! Should I combine? But I have to help the tree. Because... Maybe the th machinery thing will help them. Can I combine that with just anything else? How do I ma make them all go together? The bag is the bottom one. Do I have to do them in the order? Let me just see this one. Empty case and working bulb. Okay, so let's try those first. Case, combine, bulb! Well... I don't fucking know. Clock. Cause all of you go together. Make it! What will Andre give me this? It must be important. But we have all the things for it! Why can I just not combine them? Do I have to do a specific order? Because the order they're typed in doesn't work. Combine you with bag. Or do I need like to start... Combined? Combine cord with case. It can't be done. But that's exactly what we have to do. Wake up lock bottle with water soap. Oh, the soap is in the water. Okay, can I at least do that? Combine you with bottle. Even if it works, it would know what for. You do know what for. We've read through this note so many times. I don't know what to do. I really don't want to cheat. I've been cheating so much. Maybe I should just walk around and just try. Okay, I'm gonna... What's the clock? I'm gonna give it like 10 minutes to search. Uh, if I can't find anything in 10 minutes, we have to, um, we're just gonna look it up. Do we have any numbers of sorts? 9, 1, 1. 1. It, it, 12. Because they're Swedish developers. It, it, 12. That would be really scary if that did something, so I'm glad it didn't. <laughs> uh, that would be cool. There like, might be some kind of easter egg or something hiding there. Anyway, I'm gonna just go and look around a little. I'll, uh, I don't fuck. If I can't find it, I'll just uh, look it up in like 10 minutes. So, see you soon.
I f hey. <coughs> okay, I found balloons. Hee <laughs> hee, party balloons. My inventory is full. I don't need balloons. Sorry, my water bottle. I don't need balloons. Okay, I found it though. It's been six minutes. <laughs> we don't have to cheat today, bitchnicious. They don't help me whatsoever though. <laughs> what, the, what am I supposed to do? Hehe, <laughs> party balloons. That's all you say. Do I have to place them somewhere? Or do I have to. Because they don't go with the machine. Mabuka, Mabuka, wake me up, mother Mabuka. The horned child is playing with the lights. Uh, <coughs> the locusts is angry, shining too bright. Mother, wake up, wake up, my god. Shine with the darkness with the hands of the light. Must wake up, the build of a Let's build the egg cog on the back of the giant cat. Aha! Hey, hey, I'm stupid and can't read. Ha <laughs> ha! Hey, hey, yeah, boy! We're gonna build you up before we go. Go. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I am so dumb. <laughs> I feel. <laughs> Jesus! Calm down, kitty. He built it for me. <laughs> it looks pretty, pretty weird. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. The echo clock is finished. Use it. Use weapon with big hand. Won't work. Maybe I can shine it through the, the tree shadow now. I can just blast you to bits. What else should I- I don't know what else to do. Okay, use on Kabbalah. No, um... What do you mean, no? It literally says the light will make them away, don't- What? Velocus is a- Velocus. That's not a Velocus. That's a Kamala. Ah, I forget. Fuck. Well, I still need the key then to make uh, progress. I can enter the door number here. Door 103. It's all bloody. What was behind this one? What's behind door number 3? I've been through all of you so many times. Uh. Oh, is it really that easy? Because balloons you can make. Oh, Ooh, yeah, of course. Ah, oh, well. If I found the, if I had the balloons, or because I spent a lot of time when we grabbed the button and everything, and I, I even clicked on like the popsicle and all of this in the last part. How did I miss the balloons? Because if I had them in my inventory when I actually went down there, I would have tried to use them because I tried to use everything on the water. Well, almost. And now we throw the water balloons. Oh my god. Yes, that makes sense. I missed. Well, we have to use them all. Boink. Almost. Third time to charm. Sploosh. Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Bye bye. Wow. I don't feel the sadness anymore. I think. Don't worry. I'm happy you feel better. I do feel better. Let me give you something in turn. There. A piece of me. You can plant it if you like. While a living magic tree, I'm sure I'll grow grand. Great. Hey, hey, thank you, sir. I have to go now. I must find my cats. I hope you find it. See you around. Oh, sweet little tree. I feel good about that. We helped a tree today. I'm gonna say that to people <laughs> later. What did you do today? I helped a tree. <laughs> and just stare right on them and just. I helped a tree! <laughs> but that doesn't help me unlock the door, though. Hmm, if it works for no more purpose. Cause in here, I think. Cause the key is behind here. Well, maybe he wants to hang on my branch instead of the tree, or I just poke him or something. I don't know. Let's try. Let's try. Hello, Mr. Burning Shitface. Poof! Don't you point that sharp tree arm to my face. Put it down, or I'll burn you. 
Well, aren't you an annoying little shit sap? What about the part to do? Grab the key then. No, no, no. The Lucy Fern will burn my stick. Do we pour water on the stick so he can't burn it? Because the water seems to be helpful. Your mouth is closed. Wah, wah. Okay, let's go. So let's try to water up my stick. That sounds... No, I'm not... No, no, don't worry, never mind. Open the water force. Why do you stop? <gasps> There's wind turbines. Maybe I can use them to like... Air him out. Even it won't do. But I wasted my balloons. Should I save one for him or something? No, the brush. They're like their hair brushed. That's what the white ones uh, who got stuck earlier, didn't we? Didn't we comb their hair? Didn't, I think I thought we did that. Hello tree, you're big. I can plant it if I like. Can we place the branch on the tree? It can't be done. Never mind. I'm just I don't know. I'm insane. I'm trying to think like the game. Okay, let's brush your hair. Isn't that what your kind likes? But the brush should burn off. Look! I found a magical hair comb. Isn't it great? Um, no. A hair comb. What is that? You want to try it? Well, it's to make your hair very pretty and smooth. Would you like to try it? I don't know. It's dangerous. It can be very pleasant. It can be very pleasant if you do it smoothly. Alright, let's try it. Alright, but just promise you won't burn me, okay? I only burn if I'm in danger. Be gentle and nothing bad will happen. Okay, I'll be gentle. Oh, <laughs> It's cozy. It worked! Yes, because- oh, I should have remembered. That's obvious, because the white ones did a thing there. What? What is happening to me? I've never experienced anything like this before. But how? You're a Lucifer. All oh, Lucifer's I met do this all the time. Really? Well, thank you very much. It was incredible. I feel like I need to fly away. Whee! I should have remembered that. Fantastic, I can reach it. Now I have the key. Oh, that makes so much more sense now, cause I... In like three or four parts ago we did that with like the white creatures, who were exactly the same, because the fl flying things get stuck in the tree, and then they became hair cause they got entangled. Uh, let's go behind the magic door, it's bloody! <gasps> Are you the mother of darkness? Yay, this is just a little bit creepy. Creature from above, get out of my question. You're not welcome. Bye to you then, really. I didn't want to come by anyway. I'm just gonna go the other speech. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat, and I need to wake up Mabuka. And just Mabuka, mother Mabuka for you, arrogant little infant. And how did you plan to wake her up then? With the crazy ideas of Kogwan. Kogwan is a nice cock maker, he's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you've been to first horrid place, I say so. Too dazzling. I wanna go there, it's pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty nice. Well, that's exactly where I want to go for I find my kitty. Good for you, your friendly little man will be safe there with all these boring creatures. I'll go now, you wicked tree. My kitty's waiting for me. The floor is beating like a heart. Yeah, we're gonna fall through there. Hello, whatever you are. Hello, God. You look a bit like Rainbow. Maybe that's how she bred him up. Hello, little boar. Little boar boar. Little num num. Huh? You don't scare me a bit. Man, Fran, you've been toughing up there. Time to blast! Bubble and alarm clock in your face. Well, I mean. Hello there. Ah, oh, be aware of Mabuka. The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Sweet! We're gonna die! Oh, I'm sorry to wake you up, Mother Mabaka, but I need a favor from you. Can somebody tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. I can't, excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I am Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. A human in Mabaka's den, that's amusing. Who brought you here? That would be Reaver. I think he's your son, isn't he? Raymore. And my son managed to enter your head already. You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some sort of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pill looked like red beans, so yes, I took a whole bottle. Then I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. 
I hope you find beneath the ground the truth that you see. Thank you. What power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You are selected by the five realms of eternal existence to be the keeper of the key. Is Sora? Or Roxas? Huh? <laughs> the five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What? What are you talking about? I'm 11 years old. I have no idea. I, haven't, I just got my first Pokemon. The keeper of the key. Who told you this? The great Velocus from Pre... from Premiere told us everything a long time ago. The Keeper will be haunted by the Son of Darkness and feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I would say. Too young indeed to be the Keeper of the Key. <laughs> so is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Just gonna, just gonna throw that out there. There's something about you. There's something obscure happens to you. I think Rimor killed my parents, Mother Mabika. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all of those feelings, Fran. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from tears and sorrow, from desperation and fear. Yeah, she feels none of those anymore, so that's why we can have a dialogue. But then you don't care if Rimor killed my parents. I thought you were nice. She's the queen, uh, she's the like, mother of darkness. How is that nice? No one's. I am curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. No, I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, keep her the key. Be brave now. She wouldn't be here if she weren't brave already. I'll open my heart for you. Told ya. And there just conveniently happens to be a human sized ladder. Right. Let's get right. No friggin' way. This is cut out from the asylum, isn't it? It's the reception we couldn't enter because the. My jam, though. I like it. You, I don't like you, however. You look so creepy. That face kind of looks like um, Little Nightmares. Have you played that game? At the end of Little Nightmares, you use mirrors to fight that like leading um, the demon who, whatever she is, I don't remember. She has like that kind of weird mask face going on. I just never mind. Can I speak? The bath boy said something about this. I don't remember. <gasps> oh yeah, 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 yeah! I oh, was gonna just cut away. I think I remember at least. Then, uh, do I know you're from somewhere? You took something, from me, didn't you, you little thief? <gasps> yeah, we took your needle to the the, the 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 padlock, didn't we? Or the key? No, we used it to. Oh, that's so long ago. I recorded that part like a half a year ago. Yeah, I'm lazy. I know. Depression does that to you. But what the fuck? That was so long ago! We used to- we had trouble with the padlock in like part 2. And then we had that little bar thing over the guy drinking coffee who the guard wouldn't leave. Yeah, we did steal that, didn't we? Did you stab our little friends with it? What? Needle you. Are you the dead nurse I saw back in the Oswald Asylum? Do I look dead to you, you little beast? What you kinda do? Take a number with you, and wait for your turn in the way. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention, I just need to find my kid. Take a number and wait, so I won't repeat myself. You will if I talk long enough. Hey kids, my turn to talk with the nurse you're right. If you don't wait and leave us alone, I'll tear your apart and need you. Ew, you eat children? Do you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. <laughs> See? She don't give a fuck anymore. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness, don't worry about. Is it Pelantris? Cause if it's not, I don't wanna see him. Uh, they listen, they see, they touch, they hear, they feel, and whatever. Push the button. Thanks for ticket. Num lucky number seven, huh? That's nice. See you later. I hope I get a good one. It's locked. Where are your keyhole? Well, fuck you then. Ah, okay, let's go here. Oh, it's the waiting room. Hello, guys. You look nice. You look like a rat dream or whatever. Ah, I wonder how long I must wait. Hours, maybe days. That's pretty much how it feels. Ah, so sure, sure. Ha, I've been waiting for a week now. How long has everyone here been waiting? Mm -hmm. They've been waiting for like a month. But I'm number two, so it's might be my turn. <laughs> I've been waiting for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Um, excuse me. 
But is there any way to make things faster? Yes, become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. This is such a such a r slash whoosh joke if you I uh, yikes. Everyone probably gets it anyone's whatever. Just scratch that I said. Never mind. This is just oh so good. Social commentary at its finest. But won't but but why won't you become a doctor yourself though? I can't. I can't because I feel very sick. I can't. My R I is blinded. Your red eye is blinded. Okay. I have this broken horn. You can't see. I can't be a doctor. I must be a patient. Neither can I. I've lost my my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Same happened like last week to me. I feel your pain, bro. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? Well, if you're the least sick here, maybe they should actually go before you. There's a clock. Do we have anything left from Mr. Cogwan? Cogwan wheel, by the way. Can we go back to Thursday somehow and get his seasonal clock to work here? That's too far fetched. I can't. I, I don't even know what illness I have. That's why I'm here. Do you feel pain? I'm actually gonna become a doctor in just a few seconds right here, you know? Hmm. But how do you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. The flip you are about. Alright, sure. Uh, how can I make a question softer? That's very strange. H have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. He doesn't have any. Impossible to talk with you. Ah, enough. It's impossible to talk sense with anything. But of course you can't make sense of us. You're not the one that sees it. You're not the one that sees it all. You've only known us for a few minutes. It's very little time to understand it all. Valid, valid. Hmm, it's true. But it would be nice to use some common sense. Why? What does common sense do that uncommon sense doesn't? Well, yeah, it helps to understand. Well, um, it could be. Okay, sure. Too philosophical. Well, it helps to, to better understand each other. We do, we do understand each other very well with our own common sense anyway. Yeah, because you ain't common. The whole point of common is that something happens often or common. La -da. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. Well, aren't you a, a grand lads of social justice warriors or whatever? <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Hmm. But who is the one who sees it all then? You mean Mabuka? No. Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. The big eye! We talked to the eye thingy. We had the, the, the shattered reality with the three places. The big eye. We were allowed to take whatever we wanted in, in this room. So I, I, we're there. Now, I want to wait because talking to you won't make it go faster. Well, it actually... Well, the perception of time is sort of relevant. So, I mean, Einstein taught us that. So if you talk, you could... Your perception of time might actually go quicker. You know? But hey, that's just a theory. I'm not even gonna finish that. Hello? Hello? I think my horn won't grow again. I'm going to be very angry because of that restroom. That might be the number display. Can I hack it? Can we just shank? Can we go a full genocide route and just stab every creature? I still have my crayon. That's pretty nice. Hello, you should look at my picture. Trying nothing is good, but it's gonna run do. Maybe the nurse can open it. Nurse! There's too much key over there. Alright, just take a number, wait for a turn. We did that. Oh, the creature spawns me the body fits. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Shank, you're gonna make you die two times. Two times. Here's eyes. You're gonna feel him back in the hospital asylum. But he can't be. Or can it? It's like a part of it. You can see the old realities and stuff, whatever. That's all. Don't worry about it. What do I do? Do you see the screen? I have number two, so it's almost my turn. Okay, so I have to get his ticket somehow. My right eye is broken. The big eye told me that because she sees it all. Can I go back and talk to her? Seems like I can. Hmm, no skip. Okay. Can you please pick up again? Ah, my machine broke. It's a one time usage. Big guy. What a big guy. Hello? I hope you find your ca cat friend soon. I can see him inside the cage. Can you tell your little shit-faced friend down there to help me? Don't be sad, it's not too late. I see everything, remember? Then you can see the problem I'm having with getting my number to work. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck for a while again. Your mother's down there. Can I reach him somehow? 
Okay, let's go back here. Let's go here. Let's go kaboink. And let's go kaboink. Come on. You took my soap. Why did you take my soap? Do I have a hygiene problem? Sorry, you fucking mental. Well, okay, so I guess the things I should figure out is within this area then. Well, can I take another number? I already took the numbers. Just keep pressing until we get one. Maybe the machine starts over. I really want to just knife someone at this moment. <laughs> I know, I'm a horrible person in games. I'm very nice in real life, I swear. Ah, waiting was fun at the beginning, but now it was boring. Wait. Meh. Can we trade numbers somehow? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? Ah, I have number seven. Ooh. I would like to help you, but it's my turn to help myself, so no. Ah, let's go around and try and trade around, Rickaroo. Would it be possible to exchange tickets? I have another seven. No, not really. I'm not interested. One of you is gonna take the bait. Hello? Would it be possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. Hmm. Mm, that is not too convenient for me, I'm sorry, but no. Do you see the screen at number two? It's almost my turn. Exchange tickets. Would it be possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. What the illness I have. If you don't give me your tickets, I'll make sure that you are in pain. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm mean, I'm sorry. What if I found out what illness you have? Would you then give me your ticket? Sure, if I'm still here when you come back. My second idea was that I'm gonna try to draw like a number one over it and see if someone wants to trade. Information! They listen to the scene, they touch. They listen, they can see, they can touch, and they wake up, and I'm like, I'm not to say, but I can't hear, can it? Well... <coughs> Do I keep talking? I only want to find out about anyone else, alright. <coughs> Scheiße. I forgot my book. I found myself hunting the truth, finding the Alex. God. Yeah, I found myself hunting the truth, but finding the unexpected. I found what my senses couldn't show me. I found out the truth. Leon can the one. My name is Leon. Ah, it's all this shit. Is there something new here we can use? Because it should probably not. No. Well, actually, yes. I don't recognize this. My book at the end. Yeah, and this it's the birth giver of Raymo. Mother Mabaka's letting me go. I've spent 15 days here in Mabaka's den and I'm tired. I don't need to hide from the pain anymore because it's a part of me. It feels like love and it's everywhere and and in everything. I enjoy crying. I enjoy laughing. I enjoy being alive. That's a nice message. I, I'll vouch for that. No date recorded. I'm getting ready for the journey back home. Mabaka sent me to the endless limits of Mabaka's den. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the Luciferns. You had to become friends with them or more precise, I have to become one of them. This is the first gather for Okay, so he became one of them. Cool. Gravity collects particles to create new ones. It's a creative force, and with creativity, evolution is inevitable. Well. <sighs> Might. Have to cheat again. It's been a long time ago since I did that. I've actually been happy about being able to make it. It's a little bit progress without looking something up every fucking time. <sighs> I don't want to waste more time. I want to make progress because it's so. Because I'm not smart enough to figure this out. Can you help me? Hello? Oh, it's a creature's body, man. A little bit of fences. <laughs> Shoot, it's not your turn yet. No, I'm trying to figure that out. I didn't even know which turn I did. They listen, they see, and they touch. Do I have to touch him? Is that my clue? I really just want to shank his arm and take the ticket. Things aren't working, makes me angry. Yeah, but not angry enough because you're not doing what I'm telling you to. I give you my ticket and I find out what else. I give me ticket and I let me talk more to you then. Oh, 
again. I'm gonna go soon. All right, we're gonna begin. I'm gonna win. What do I do? Draw on my ticket. I read the book. There's nothing else. Evolution is inevitable. Uh, I feel like I've tried my options. I could go back, like, to the shattered place that I just were at. But for what? What is there for me to get that I haven't already? Why do I want something else? That's just boring. Possible to exchange. Reflect everybody's message. No, there's no more options than most of these. When a crayon, you can draw. It's, it's fun. I promise. Oh, fine. Hold on. Okay, it said to go back to the eye guy, but I did that. Or do I have to do it after I triggered the dialogue? Is it this one? Excuse me, I need your help. Oh my fucking god. I did it, but I did it too early, and that's why I thought I didn't have to go back here. Okay, that's actually logical. See, I'm just too stupid for this. Oh, and there goes my record of like two parts <laughs> without looking things up. I'm sorry. Fuck. Can you tell me what illness the creature who has the number two suffers? He's in the waiting room waiting. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> ah, I see him. But from what I see, it's not really an illness. It's just a headache, caused by the low levels of agony. Whoa, but is it possible to help him somehow? I need to take it. Yes, crying all the tears you can cry. Until you fill this bottle with it. But don't forget, the tears must be caused by real sorrow. That won't be a problem. <laughs> Jesus. I'm in a very problematic point in my life. Uh, I thought everything was going to be better when Kitty and I got home. But now, everything is confusing. Not crazy, so crazy. Things talking to her was horrible. I really trust her. I don't know what to do. My book has said I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and I won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty. Mr. Midnight's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to a thirst and be happy. Wow, that was that was easy. That's a very helpful eye thingy. Mmm, lovely pain, so profound. I got a I got a jar of tears. I got a jar of tears. <laughs> the bottle is now full of your tears. Yay! Sip sip it on orphan tears. That's horrible. If you know where that song is from, you're might be a boomer like me. Giving it to the critter that has your team. Go now. Time does not wait for anybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Goodbye. Unless I can change the seasons with the help of my little clockmaker. The change of seasons. The smell of hay. Totally miss this music. 100%. Here you go. I was so close. I just went back there just a tiny bit too early. Here, drink this little much better. Oh, I'm trying to poison her. <laughs> Lovely, let's see. Hey, I'm just gonna straight up drink it. It tastes like the most profound and darkest elixir I've tasted before. Give me more, give me more! No, leave me alone. You promised me to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright, there you go. <laughs> I still have to make it change though. Oh, thank you. Your tears just absolutely delicious. So you knew, didn't you? you slimy bastard. Oh, perfect appointment. Almost. A little too perfect. There we go. She's gone! Oh, yeah, boy. I'm just gonna use it just in case. There we go. Hello, patient number. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Are you for real? Do we need an appointment? 
Not really, you told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry, we don't help sick people without an appointment. But I'm not sick, I lost my kitty and I just want to find her. I lost kitty? But don't worry, that's a natural reaction to sickness. The hell? You're lucky though, many loses their mind instead. That's debatable, she might already have. What's the time? Yeah, it's not too bad, let's keep going. Ha! <laughs> lucky. But how do I get an appointment? Ah, oh, just call me. Here's my card with the telephone number. But why must I call you? We can't just make an appointment right now. Oh, that would be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Alright, alright. I'll go make the call then. Man, I thought that the phone was some easter egg shit. Not that we actually had to use it. That kind of ruined the beauty of it. Well, let's just... Okay. Uh, let me... No, let me see it. Do I have to remember that? My memory is awful. We have already proven this. You know what? I'm just gonna screenshot. I'm just gonna take a good old actual photo. Boink. Thank you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it has me phone. It doesn't even have shit in here. Zero. One. I have the... <laughs> it's right there. Really? Oh, okay. I'll see you in a minute. Then. Great, great. Thank you. Bye bye. Yes, bye. Great, great news. The whole point was just back and forwarding just because you had to use the telephone. Or maybe that's they just wanted to know about the telephone and find the Easter eggs. I don't, I don't know. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes. Brambo is my name, and I, the appointment is now. Or I'll disturb you. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. All right, thank you. <laughs> go. Oh, Jesus. Well, I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Actually, a little bit. Phew. Uh, yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, oh she, he, she scared him. <laughs> you scared me. The music stopped as well. Now, now it's all quiet. I'm all alone with my thoughts. <laughs> oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. I don't mind, actually, because it's none of my business. <laughs> okay, there, naps the block, whatever you want. Why have I so much undertouch in my head? Uh, no, you are the doctor. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are a reamer, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for long periods of time. I am Remor, the terrible black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Watch my cat. What did you do to Dr. Dearn? I enjoy immensely seeing you suffering. So seeing you suffer. Seeing your suffering dripping off your eyes. I feed from it. You are the manifestation of my desires, I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. That is not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible things. I saw you that night, outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Fair. Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. And your mind is strong, big brain. Look at that big brain. Right? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, don't stop. Oh, you gotta stop. Do that, man. No, it can't be. Stop it. Did she do it? I didn't do it. I didn't know it. It wasn't me. Stop, it, please. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little creature must suffer and die before becoming a star. 
the whole ritual thing. Maybe that's actually what happened. I I doubt it. But maybe it is. What if it is? Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. The story of this game, I just fucking love it. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster was tricking me. I know. Everybody's crazy around here. I have to find my kid and leave. I don't want to doubt her. But at the same time, maybe maybe Remorse, right? I don't I don't know. Then Itward wouldn't care for us. Because he feeds of darkness and his mother also feeds from tears. No, this is just to force your suffering even worse. That's just an illusion created by him. I don't think that's real. Oh, you are the doctor again. Do I have to choose which one I'm gonna save? The choice is easy though. Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow meow. Oh no, that's not your cat, is it? Mr. Reed, you won't talk to me, Mr. Minet. Please don't do this to me. Brrr. Talk to me, Mr. Minet. This isn't funny. This is the place. You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. Take you to your thirst, I'm rolling. Blood just can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Okay, kitty. I'll be right back. I must help Dr. Dream, right? He seems to be in trouble. I'm probably gonna have to, like, choose between them. And I don't think that's the actual Mr. Midnight. Because you don't take your pills anymore. So you should be able to hear him no matter what reality you're in. So, ah, it smells like a little bit of bullshit. If you know. Well, there's the doctor, at least. Dr. Deer, are you alright, sir? Sir, wake up, please. Dr. Deer, wake up, or still alive, sir. Ah, what should I do to wake him up? Syringe. What is syringe? Red fluid inside. What could it be? You're mad! Hey, hey, maybe this will wake him up. Now he'll see what you've been seeing. Yes, you're gonna allow him to see this world as well. Ah, oh, damn. What was that? Don't curse. She's 11 years old. Says I, who's been cursing the last 12 parts. 11, 10, whatever we're at. 13. Oh, what? I, I can't see very well. Ephraim Bowser from the Oswald Asylum. You we were at the cemetery, remember? Fran, uh, what happened? Uh, why am I tired to a chair? What have you done? Oh no, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you. Oh, come on, Fran. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. So he... He doesn't remember any of the thing at the graveyard. Maybe that wasn't him. Alright, it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. Yeah, you've learned. Be careful! Whoa, 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 wait. What? What? What the f flippin'? So Oswald is actually alive. No. Oswald made the pills things. Found a way here. He's the one who's been writing my book, isn't it? Because we don't know, or do we? Maybe he came here a long time ago and learned about it, and then he's been experimenting back in human world to make people see into the other realities or something like that. And Fran is the one who succeeded, and we've been playing in her nightmare. Maybe, maybe they killed your parents to make all of this possible. But what is she doing here? I thought you'd chained her. Alright, I did, but I told you she was hard one to tame. Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me? Aunt Grace, why are you talking like that? Who is this old man? How lovely. You sound just like your mother when she was young. My mother? You know her. Who are you? I am Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, Fran. Oswald? From the Oswald Asylum? Yes, Fran. The same old man. But why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Yeah, you're all been working together. Well, many years ago, I was studying the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. No! Oh, I know who your parents are. Lucia and Grace were part of my study. Both helped me to find the key to success. Yes, of course. Of course. Oh, of course. Of course. We saw the cinematic and everything. We... Oh, I just... Oh my god. Whoever wrote the story for this, you should get a fucking prize. The key. Hmm. Did you, did you know what my mother and father were murdered? Yes, of course. Rimmer did a great job. Yeah, it was him. His power of manipulation is extraordinary. Or maybe he manipulated you to not even see it, and then you did it anyway or something. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. If I w it was you holding the knife after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Rimmer all the time. But why does he haunt me? 
dreamer is the manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would the monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And pain is connected to growth and strength. Also, please, let's just do what we need to do. Auntie Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let's go. My kid and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please, just, just let us go. Yes, you are right, Frank. I am so sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's let's go now. Let's not. Let's not. No. She's gonna trick you again. She's gonna bait you and throw you over the edge. <sighs> do it, do it, do it, do it. Ah, oh, you coward. Go with your aunt, Frank. Isn't that what you want? Free him. Dr. Dream, are you alright, sir? Free him. Free him first. He's gonna sap him. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna sap him. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna do this. No, she's gonna just throw him off. Maybe this reality isn't real either. Because we can travel between them. I don't. I just. No! I refuse. Fraud, my dear, listen to me. You must know. Dr. Always Oswald only wants the best for you. When the Chia was pregnant with you, he knew you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. I can't imagine why. <laughs> she thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Well, this is kinda worse. I think she would have been... Well, she didn't seen both happiness and sadness in the world. So. Dr. Oswald really wants to give you the best. The best of both of all worlds. But for that, you must allow him to try a little experiment on you. Has he done enough already? And then everything will be fine, of course. But there is still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No. No, no kidding. He can't be dead, come on. Come on, Frank. Stop moving. The cat is dead. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped to kill my parents, didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. This is the experiment. Stop it, Fran. Help! Help! Please help! Get her. Actually, but don't. Because this, this is not real. This is the experiment all along. Don't you dare touch crazy little monster. Whoa, dude. Oh my goodness. She's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment she's still for. I need to extract the brain, by the way. That's what we saw brain scanners and things in the way. Oswald got loose? Fran? Are you alright? What have you done to her? She tried to kill me. You're right about Fran, Dr. Dean. She was sick. But she's bleeding. Let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Yeah, it worked. Smack them. There you go, good job. Yes, just throw her over the edge. Oh, Fran, everything will be fine. Who? Who, who are you? I am it, the uh, one many children talk about, but but you're not human. Ecto bro, ecto portre, Palantras monachistis. Yes, hello, Palantras. Gorsk, it worked. I found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. There you are. <laughs> good job, good saving there. Oh, little Fran must be cured. Do you think she can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Heal her up. Oh, Mother Marbuka, you took the innocence of the child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran. You will be able to walk towards the light. So you're gonna shift her into a dark version? Come on. Damn, you're just gonna take her soul and just fuse it into something else. Yeah, you literally are. Good job, Palantras. Come on, come on, come on. Do I do something? No, no, okay. She's still alive? Uh, what happened? It worked? Palantras? My heart hurts. Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I miss you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must go now. He can't speak here, then. I don't know, my theory is busted on that. 
Dr. Dreen, look, it's Itwar from Palantras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real, see? Can you believe me now? The bitch. He's gonna pass out. Yeah, he can't believe it. Oh, that's why he Oswald needs your brain. Because Oswald has been here. He's been writing the books of what he's learned. He tries to get back here, but he can't because he doesn't have... He can't handle the medication, just like we see him doing here, because they end up in the power of Mabukia. But Fran got chosen as the keep bearer, and that's why you can do that. And that's what the power Oswald wants from your brain. Oswald wants to be able to be able to get here. We really must leave now. I get it. I think so, at least. It, it could work. I don't know, it's still just a theory, but... But, can he come with us, please? He has been really nice to me. No, not really though. He really wanted to protect me and help me. Well, hell nah. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. What we can do is make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, Fran. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, that's great, actually. So, he doesn't have to die. And you didn't have to help him either. Because <laughs> he's a fucking awesome. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. There, Yegbo. You are becoming one with everything. Your parents would be so proud of you. Aww. Y you really think so? Oh, thank you, Palantras. That's the cutest little shit ever. No, yeah, just give him a hug. Now, let's send Dr. Jean home. Dear no. Swoosh. No, I'm done reading your spells. They're so hard to pronounce. I have a hard time enough pronouncing normal English. I'm not gonna do that. Goodbye, Dr. Dreen. <laughs> be fun if you're like off screen he just exploded into bits. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm insane as well, I don't know. Let's go now, Fran. There must be s there's so much for you must see and learn. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. <laughs> Let's go, kitty. <laughs> ah, shit, it's been too long now. Damn it. I still don't know many things. But one, other, one thing I do know. D is this over? Let's come to no, no, no. Don't be. Don't even try to be over. That the difference between guilt and fear. I choose happiness. Don't you dare tell me it's already over. Your bullet hole is healed. No. No. We're not done. There's no way. No. What the? F We're like halfway there. What the hell? No. Come on. I love how just two people. Come on! No! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh my god. Sven. Alexandra Bengt. Brian, Raphael, Andreas. Oh, come on. Oh, so she. I can't even. Oh my god, what the fuck? Hold on. No, what the hell? So she shows happiness, which is to stay. As a key protector in her in the ultra reality or in the bridge between everyone every reality. And then she stayed there. <sighs> what the hell? It's Indiegogo? Do you made it for Indiegogo? Man, yeah, this game has been out for a while, just Really? Man. I'm just gonna wait for it. I wanna see what's after the credits.
Wow, 2015, yeah, I'm five years behind. I'm not sure I ever recorded, but I think I tried an early version of this way back. Way, way back. Because I remember I saw someone record it and I got way into it. I saw one or two parts of someone playing it. I'm not sure, it's just a very vague memory. Maybe it's just what I'm from the school. That's literally it! What? We're just here again! No, I'm done. We've seen that enough. Oh my god, what the f I don't know what the fuck to say, it's okay. <sighs> yeah. Okay, she shows happiness to stay with them and go back to Thursday with her cat and be happy. So that's why she's like the protector of the keys and can go into all the worlds. Now, I think that that's what Oswald was trying to... I'm pretty sure there's more information to dig out. But I think that's what, um, what Oswald was trying to achieve. With the twin sisters being connected and everything. And that's why Frambo, they're one of their, one of their children could gra could handle the, the pills and whatever effect that has to expand your mind to be able to see the ultra realities and that's why so she got chosen when she did that because the suffering her parents had to go through or something and it's just I don't know so maybe that's why her like the twin sister her parent well her mom and her sister had to go through and she got chosen to be the key bearer because of it uh, so that's why when she took the pills, she didn't end up in the, the Mabuka's control. As we saw Oswald, we, we shanked him with the needle with the red fluid. He couldn't handle it. He just hurt, his eyes started bleeding and he became one with the, with the darkness. And that's what Oswald knew, because I'm pretty sure that Oswald's the one who wrote uh, all the things we've been reading in that book. Because he maybe he went there as younger because he somehow handled it. And wanted to get back because he wanted to be the one who chose the happiness, and that's why he'd been researching this for so many, so many years. He then opened an asylum to acquire test subjects, tried to work some way out to be able to get back there, or something. I don't know. I'm just sad that it's over. It was so good. Come on. Well, I don't know what to do now. I feel empty. I feel so empty. This I didn't did this is not Is there a second one? Alright. We're on Kill Monday Games. Kill Monday Games is a dream with bang up person. Oh they change. Oh yeah, that's the developers. Imabuka. And hello, Isaac. Yes sir and I'm okay, okay, okay. Kill Monday Games is making professional fan of ideas. About K K. Isaac of Under Music is in the games. Frambo, successful in its game. Frambo had been greenlit by some writers on Steam. Today, Frambo is curious. Ever since the game was released, many have been curious whether Frambo would be followed by a sequel. In 2018, Mondo did confirm that it would be a continuation of the story. However, it's an idea for the future, meaning there's no date set yet. So, okay. So, the, there will be. There are ideas for a second one, but that's in 2018. That's two years ago. Will they make a second one? Little Misfortune. A little lady chops the world. In 2019, Kino Wonders is a second Little Misfortune. It's an interesting story. Okay. We're definitely playing that one next. Holy shit. I think I've seen that one. Or heard. I saw that on somewhere. That was on sale on Steam. I th yeah. That was on sale not too long ago. Yeah, they also released it for mobile. That's why. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. I've seen the art. Yeah, there's a little cute girl with the beret. She looks like kind of French artsy, but she's like smaller. All right, okay, we're gonna play that next. Holy shit! Yeah, yeah, we're definitely playing that. 
At the beginning of the project, it was estimated that the game would take six months to finish. However, the team grew very fond of the idea and their characters. As the ambition was that the game rose higher, the development process was stretched out over three years. It's not only believed that the team would make such deep affection for their sweet main character, Misfortune. Luckily, it showed that the gamers fell in love with her too. The imaginative eight-year-old charmed its audience, and the game got a lot of popularity. Well, I missed it though, but okay, let's go. Kill Monday Games. Well, all right. Natalia, co-founder of Visual Joker Engine, the runner of the Stranger, who's founder of characters you're writing. Sure. Okay, so she wrote the story as well. Uh, okay. Oh, did the voices in that game? Ooh, cool, cool, cool. Co-founder of Musical Machine, man, you make them a professional composer. It's a professional 3D artist. Yeah, is that where the... Where the thumbs are? Yeah, it's... Oh, we're definitely gonna play that game. I've heard so much if that's the one. Okay, holy shit, this was too long. Man, I didn't want it to end like that. What the frig? Well, it's not like I can do much about it. We're gonna play that other one. Oh, that's so annoying though, because I'm trying to like finish... I'm trying to work back my YouTube thing, whatever this... My channel is like grasping for air, it's like drowning at the same time. So I'm just way... I want to try to get back to things I like recording, so I can get back to uploading somewhat more than just once a month, and then take a break for six new months or six years, it feels like. So that's why I'm trying to figure this out as good as I can. So I'll just... Um, Oh, my brain is not ready for this. So I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to figure out some situation where I can record a bit and upload somewhat regularly. I'm not gonna say any number, any week, any date, any anything, because I, I don't know how it'll go. So I'm trying to like finish up unfinished things, like making parts. There's a lot of whole games I've been starting and then just never finishing. So my goal is to like clean everything up, make decent playlists, and just sort everything basically to allow myself a cleaner slate when I start doing more regular work. So, but I really wanna try that other game if it's like a sequel or it's not a sequel, but maybe it's like a middle thing that they're working on before they make another frambo. Little lady misfortune, misfortune. Okay, we're definitely gonna do that. We're definitely gonna do that. Okay, enough chit chatting. Oh my God. Thank you so much for joining me for this adventure. Hope uh, you enjoyed it. A little bit, well, hopefully as much as I did, because that was amazing. Uh, wow. You play it for yourself, give it a try. Maybe you'll do something different than I didn't, or well, maybe you won't waste two hours trying to figure out puzzles that actually were not that hard. <laughs> but yeah, it's easy to see afterwards, you know? So, I don't know. Well, I, I enjoyed that thoroughly, it was so good. That was such a great story and everything. That was just, just, just well done. I know I'm like five years late to the whole party because the release day and everything, but you know, doesn't matter. I play the games I want to. That's why I'm probably the most dying channel on this entire platform. <laughs> anyway, doesn't matter. I enjoyed it. It was great. I had so much fun. The story, I'm gonna remember this until the day I die. That was just so great. <laughs> At least that's my opinion. You can have a different one and whatever. I talk for too I talk too much. Okay, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great day whenever you see this. And I'd like to see you in something else. Bye bye. Okay, hello everyone. I just finished my end part of Franbo. I also just bought Little Misfortune, so we're waiting on it right here to get downloaded, as you can see. Uh, the tra I saw the trailer. Um, it looks really, it looks way more cute than anything else, but it's still, it's still tagged as a horror game. Uh, Nevitan, so we're gonna see how it turns out. So, yeah, 